hello guys welcome to how to fix tech in this video guys you can see the error windows failed to start a recent hardware or the software change might be the first to fix the problem so how to troubleshoot this issue on my dell laptop or any other laptop if you are using so we will troubleshoot this issue easy so let's start without wasting your time so first of all why you are facing this issue if you have recently changed any hardware like ram or hardware hard drive so you might get this issue as well if your window is corrupted then you are also getting this error as well as you can see my system is automatically turned off and we need to go to the bios first let me turn on my system and in the dell laptop the bios key is f2 and in the other laptop you can check out it in the hp laptop it would be f10 let me turn on this laptop and continuously hit F2 we need to make sure that the hard drive is detecting inside the drive or not now you will see the options like this go to boot sequence ok now from here you can see there is a hard drive but it is in the second position ok so you need to make sure it is on the priority like this it is on the top now and click on apply here once click on apply go to advanced boot option this should be tick like this time and date should be ok here after that go to SATA operation this option AHCI should be selected here so now we have correctly selected the drive here we need to click on exit we have applied the changes and let's see the issue has been resolved or not the window is loading now and it seems like window issue has been resolved click on windows 10 now you can see it is loading now so my issue has been fixed now but it's checking the disk it means something went wrong with our hard drive if you are getting the same error it means that your hard drive seems to be corrupted but first you need to make sure the hard drive is corrected or not now you can see window has been load in my case but if still not load in your case let me go to again bios options let me press f2 again once this is done continuously hit like this once it is off and access the BIOS ok go to boot sequence again this option and choose this boot list option to legacy here and the discable drive should be internal SDD should be on the top ok and then click on apply and click on exit so in my case my BIOS is set to UEFI that's why I'm getting the error so I need to control I need to press control or delete together and again F2 like this let it boot again go to boot sequence this option okay and then choose it to the UEFI you can also choose switch like this click on apply one another thing you can do is you can load defaults ok in my case the my priority is UEFI so you can also choose the load defaults click on exit now you can see window is loading now so this is how you can troubleshoot this issue and one other thing last thing you can do is you can boot it from the pen drive bootable pen drive and then so this is how you can troubleshoot this issue so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech